Okay, let us discuss this problem. This is again related to writing mechanism. So we have to write the mechanism for the following process. And this is a basically a double cyclization. So let me write the reactant. So you have this six membered ring. And here you have a again this side a six membered ring. So let me make this one. So this is a and here I have oxygen. So this is a CS3. At this position I also have a CS3. There is a double bond. And this position I also have a CS3. So this is the CS3. And there is a double bond. Now if I treat this compound with H plus in the presence of H2O, the final product I am getting, I am not getting. The book writer is getting, maybe he is also not be getting, he is just writing a, a proposing a pro problem. Okay, so this is OH here and here also you have this. So this is the final product. Now there is a lone pair. You see in the last question we have done the same thing. Now you have to propose the mechanism. I will give you one hint. This H plus, what this H plus can do? This H plus can react with the oxygen and this will make a O plus. For that I have to lose something and okay there is a one more methyl group. And then I can lose open this bond or this bond and then I will get a carbocation then I can attack this alkene again attack alkene so this is enough hint and the final you can lose H plus so you have to keep attacking and the final you have to lose H plus so let me see how many of you can do this one Okay, let me discuss. I think all of you have done this one. So I have H plus. What will happen in the faster step? This lone pair can attack on this H plus. So what we will get is, I am writing the product after attack of H plus. So this will remain same. So this part of molecule is same, but still I have to write. So there is a double bond, and then you have this. And there is a two methyl group attached, oxygen, and this, and here you have a double bond, and this position again you have a methyl group. Now this will contain oxygen. Now we have a plus charge on oxygen. I think I have written everything. Now we have two options. Either I can open this bond. So if I open this bond, then I will have a carbocation here. If I open this bond, I will have a carbocation here. So this is a tertiary carbocation, this is a secondary carbocation, so I have to open this bond. So if I open this bond, there is a plus charge on this carbon. And now if you see the product, I have to make a cyclic compound. So once I have a positive charge, I can attack here. So let me first write down the carbocation. And then I will write in the next step. So let us copy this one. So you will have a carbocation here. So there will be carbocation and there will have OH. Are you getting? Now what you can do in the next step, this double bond can attack on this carbocation. So you will have this carbon and this carbon is connected. So this side you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this carbon, this is the carbon number 6. So you will have a 6 member ring this side. And let us call this a 1, 2, 3, 4, four five six and this side he will have a something like this so there is a double bond 
and this bond and here you have a methyl group so this methyl group is still there so there is a methyl group now this carbon attaches to this carbon so 5 is connected so there will be a plus charge here are you getting so carbon number 1 will contain a positive charge this is a carbocation carbon number 5 will contain a methyl group i think all of you are getting this one carbon number 4 contains one oh group are you getting so what should i do in the next step in the next step i can basically attack on this double bond to this carbocation so this cycle will close so this is the second time ring cyclization this is the first time ring cyclization this is the second time ring cyclization and once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 member ring you will have so this side also let me make a six member ring and here also i have a six member ring here i have a methyl group here i have a oh group now you see here on carbon number 1 you have carbo uh, methyl group attached now this carbon will contain a positive charge there is a methyl group this and this are you getting now if you see the final product you see the final product you have oh oh i am missing something so there is a 2 ch3 so there is a 2 methyl group so there is a 2 methyl group so i have to uh, copy 2 methyl group here so this methyl group and this methyl group there are 2 methyl group so on carbon number 5 i have 2 methyl group attached carbon number 5 will contain 2 methyl group so you see the same thing 2 methyl group oh 2 methyl group oh there is a methyl group there is a methyl group so 2 methyl and a double bond only thing i don't have i don't have a double bond in this place so what can i do in the next step i can lose h plus so let me show the same thing again so that i can show the loss of h plus so there is a 2 methyl group i think all of you copied this one and there is a oh and here you have a ch3 also you have h and ch3 and there is a methyl group here everything i have written now what can what i can do in the next step there is a carbocation so if i lose this h plus so that is loss of h plus i will get the desired product so i will have a two six member ring and this six member ring will contain two methyl group with a double bond now there is a methyl group there are two methyl group and there is a oh so this is a easy problem this is all about this one you see one important point in this question you have that is the ring cyclization in the first step you have to generate a carbocation and if you have a carbocation and carbocation a alkene can attack and once alkene attacks again i am getting a carbocation so in the next step again alkene can attack and this time the second ring cyclization you have and in the final step you see the product contains a double bond so i can lose one h plus so in this case h plus is acting as a catalyst you see in the first part i am using one h plus in the last step i am losing one h plus so in this step you are losing one h plus and that's why in this reaction h plus is acting as a catalyst because this is used in the first step and uh loosen up in the last step so h plus is acting as a catalyst so this is an important part so you see ring cyclization can be done using h plus as a catalyst we'll discuss the next problem i think all of you have copied this one